Atlanta, Georgia, a city where dreams are born and legends are made. And in the heart of its gritty streets, one name echoes louder than most Gucci Mane. But behind the glitz and glamour lies a story of struggle, redemption, and undeniable talent. Radrick Delantic Davis, better known by his stage name Gucci Mane, born on February 12, 1980, in Bessemer, Alabama, Gucci's upbringing was marked by struggle. Davis's family had a strong military background. Davis's parents met in 1978. Davis's mother had a son, Victor Davis, from another relationship. When Davis was born, his father was on the run from the police for dealing crack cocaine and heroin and had fled to Detroit, Michigan. Davis's father was not present to sign the birth certificate, and Davis took his mother's last name. His older half-brother Victor introduced Davis to hip-hop when Davis was six years old by bringing Davis to a run DMC, Beastie Boys, and LL Cool J concert. Davis's family was kicked out of the house and did not have a stable living environment until his father set them up in a night's inn. Davis grew up in an area which was high in crime. By the time Davis began taking his side hobby as a drug dealer as a career, Davis never actually took drugs for the first few years that he was dealing drugs, though his first experience was smoking cannabis with a girl he had a crush on. When he was 15, Davis was riding his push bicycle when a man stopped him and pointed a desert eagle at his head. Davis was robbed of all valuable items following the encounter and began to carry a .380 caliber handgun. Davis had numerous other life-threatening situations. Davis enjoyed writing poetry at a young age and began rapping at the age of 14. Following his first arrest, Davis began to take music seriously. In 2001, Gucci made his mark on the Atlanta music scene with the release of La Flair, a gritty and unapologetic ode to his life experiences. This marked the beginning of his ascent to rap stardom as he cultivated a devoted following with his unique blend of authenticity and charisma. However, it was his 2005 debut album, Trap House, that catapulted Gucci Mane to national prominence, featuring the iconic track Icy with Young Jeezy. The album served as a cornerstone of the emerging trap music movement, solidifying Gucci's status as a trailblazer in the genre. The official remix of Freaky Girl featuring Ludacris and Lil' Kim was included on his 2007 commercial debut album, Back to the Trap House. Throughout his career, Gucci Mane has faced numerous challenges, including legal troubles and struggles with addiction. Yet, each setback only served to fuel his determination and inspire his music. In addition to his musical prowess, Gucci's influence extends far beyond the confines of the recording studio. He has served as a mentor to up-and-coming artists, nurturing talent, and shaping the next generation of hip-hop stars. His imprint on the genre is undeniable, with artists like Young Thug, Migos, and Future citing him as a major influence on their own careers. But Gucci's impact doesn't stop there. In 2016, he emerged from a three-year prison sentence a changed man, focused on personal growth and sobriety. His transformation has been nothing short of remarkable. Davis married Kishia Ka Oire Davis had proposed to Ka Oire after performing at an Atlanta Hawks basketball game. On December 23, 2020, Ka Oire gave birth to their son, Ice Davis. On February 8, 2023, Ka Oire gave birth to their daughter, Iceland Ka Oire Davis. Davis disclosed in his 2017 autobiography that he has a son born in 2007 whom he had not known about until the child was 10 months old. As Gucci Mane continues to defy expectations and push boundaries, his story serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and the enduring spirit of hip-hop. In a world filled with adversity, Gucci Mane stands tall as a beacon of hope and inspiration, reminding us all that greatness knows no bounds.